Welcome, and in this video, I want to show you a few quick tips on how you, um, how I, and how you can handle player conversations, and how you cannot make them mad, or how you can can handle certain situations. Um, and these are the ways that I always handle them, and they work very well for me. So I am going to show you them in a second. Sometimes you come across a player that. Um, you don't want to let go of the club, of course. Uh, this guy, for example, um, a really good player, was a wonder kid, and yeah, he just, I use him as a Metzala, he's a really good player and performs really well for me. Now, I don't want to let him leave, but he is extremely interested in speaking to Liverpool. So, when I reject the contract, he is probably gonna speak to me. Yeah, here he is. Now, there are a few things that you can do uh, with this chat if he is influential then you can use this one and then it always works if he is influential now this guy isn't that influential so what i normally do is use this one the finances weren't right then i just say whatever he says 103 million now that's fine and then i go to his profile transfer status and then put it all the way down to like 70 million um, don't put it too close to the 109 million that he wanted, 103 I mean, um, because uh, the, the teams will offer a little bit over the transfer value that you put in, but put like 70 million, reject all transfer offers and confirm. And now he won't, um, he won't notice it, all the teams only will offer 70 million or a little bit more, and um, you won't break the promise and uh, after one or two years he will say like okay i dropped my concerns nobody wants me for this price i want a new contract and then it's fixed and here a quick follow-up on the ranker rudan situation um now liverpool has made a bit of 65 million and is automatically rejected and he, and he is not complaining and here you have the most annoying one um players that want more playing time and this is actually a very easy fix because he is just not a good enough player for me. He has a nice personality, that's why I keep him in a squad. And his potential isn't too bad. I don't want to play him more than he's playing right now. So I discuss it with him, I inquire. Yeah, he wants uh, playing time. Now, what you are not going to do is promise him all kinds of stuff. And this, for me, it is almost foolproof. I have never had a situation that it didn't work but this one um, I can't advise you getting what you want um, I look to sell you as soon as I can for the good of your career and then normally they back down very quickly <laughs> you see no no I don't want to leave the club I'm happy to wait for my chance that is all you do and that works with all my players that want more playing time I just say that how, doesn't matter how good they are even if they are like five star current ability star player but i'm mentioning them and they want more playing time if i say this they don't want to leave they want to stay here these were just a few tips i hope they have helped you as well as they have helped me i hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching